What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I got a great video for you guys today. Here I got my client, curly hair on top. We're gonna do a low condensed fade. Super difficult fade to do. One of my hardest haircut I've had to do, uh, but I, I really enjoy it. So I, I go in here and I use my clipper over comb to kind of create that shape. And then I'll go in and I'll go by eliminating the bulk. Uh, I'll take that number three guard, kind of go up and kind of freehand it. Makes it super easy. Uh, I like to fade down and then fade up, especially in this kind of situation. It helps me control the fade a little bit better. Here you'll see me going, going in and just trying to make sure that I keep the cut as even as possible. Make sure I grab every hair. Now you'll see me going with my gold FX trimmer and I'll go ahead and start to create that first guideline. Uh, I like to edge out where I'm gonna put that arch. It just helps me see the fade come, come together as I'm cutting it. You'll see me take my Anis Master and I'll go ahead and I'll create that first guideline. Going up about a quarter to a half inch maybe. Uh, I tend to give a bigger guideline in the back just to kind of stretch that fade out. Then I'll begin to close that blade and just begin to knock that line out. Um, you know, I'll close it one notch at a time. Uh, until that line is completely gone. Just using the corner of my blade. The corner of your blade is gonna be your best friend when it comes down to doing a, like a low condensed fade like this. It just helps you, when you use the full, full blade, you end up taking the fade a little bit too high or you're not able to control yourself as much. Same thing, I go in with my number one guard on my Andis Master and I'll do the same thing. Corner of the blade, I'm not using the full blade when I'm going in here and I'm cutting Credit, cutting and creating that shape. And you can already see the fade is already starting to come together. I'm using that C-stroke motion, making it super easy as I go up and as I create this process. You'll see me go in with, you know, closing the blade, I'll open the blade, just making sure I grab whatever dark spots that I'll see as I'm in, in progression. Here now, I didn't drop down to my one and a half guard or my one my half guard. Uh, I just use the blade open, and I'm just using that 45 degree angle just to kind of take that line out. Um, this is an advanced technique. Uh, I don't advise beginners to do it if you're not comfortable enough doing it. Uh, but I've done it enough on his hair that it's super easy, and it makes the process super easy for me. You can see I switch clippers. I'll go to that fade blade on my my Babyliss FX clipper, and I'll go ahead and I'll start nitpicking at the at any dark spots that I'll see. Here I did drop down to my half guard just to touch up some areas that uh, I felt like I didn't want to take the fade up too high too high with it. So. Uh, just gave me more control at that point. I hop back to that number one guard and you'll see me jump. I jump guard so much. It's kind of hard to kind of show my process, but I just want you guys to, to just see how I work this fade and see how I'm able to kind of bring this thing together. Now, before I use that three guard, and I created the shape so I know where I could fade up to. Um, now I went to that number two guard and I start to begin to take out that dark, that dark spot, that line that I created with that number one open. And you see me, same thing, corner of the blade, always using that corner of the blade. It's just more control. You wanna have control when you're doing, the, doing a low fade like this. You'll see me, I'll go like really, really slow and just seeing what I'm able to feed into 
the actual blade itself. Got boss man talking to me. Here I went down to that one and a half, and now we're just gonna start cleaning it up a little bit. Uh, not much of a line there, but we're gonna just make sure that this fade is super detailed and that you can really see the transition. So most people that people would think this fade is done, but I don't know. I, I like to get at as much detail as possible, especially when I'm going in a, a fade like this, especially for the YouTube channel. So you got to. <clears throat> you see me going with that gold FX and just using that corner. Now I'll take that foil shaver and I'll just clean up underneath of it. Uh, you notice I didn't use that before because I didn't want to create a super harsh line in the beginning. Here I add the finishing touches with the 40 teeth Hanzo shears uh, just to soften that blend up. Like I said, it's all about the details. I mean, look at that blend, super blurry. Now look, now we're just gonna create the same thing on the other side clipper over comb we're gonna go ahead and create that shape now with this comb it's technically like a two guard um, but I kind of angle it kind of come off the head a little bit and add some freehand in there because I'm gonna go in with my number three guard and just clear out and just make sure that it's even You'll see me, I'll kind of come off the head a little bit while I'm creating creating that, that initial guideline. I just know where I'm going to fade up to. Same thing, I got the three closed. Fade down just a little bit. I just want to make sure I have a super clean canvas to work with when I'm going in with this, with this comp compressed fade. Process. I go ahead and create this first guideline with the gold gold FX trimmer. I'm sure you guys get the concept. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to over talk it neither. I don't want to confuse you. Uh, but pretty much it's the same steps we use on the other side. I remember when I first started cutting this guy's hair. Man, he was he was a young boy, young boy, middle school, and. Um, his haircut was always difficult for me and uh, as I've been cutting it for years and years I kind of get better and better at it every time this is obviously the one of the hardest haircuts and I always try to work at it guys I can't stress it enough the corner of the blade technique is so critical when it comes to these fades like this it don't even matter even if you were doing like a high high skin fade using that corner of the blade can can set your your fades apart from the next person try not to create them harsh guidelines it's super important See me hop back and forth between that master and then my fade blade on the babalus. You can kind of you can see it though. Like I don't I don't kind of dig in. I kind of like use that scuba motion to kind of freehand it. That's how you can kind of see that soft blend kind of come together. If many didn't know, I did take, 
took my talents to Texas. I'm no longer uh, at the shop in Hanover, PA. If anybody actually cares, you know, I don't have that many subscribers yet, but it's coming. But yeah, I'm in Texas, got my private suite. So the videos will be switching up here soon. Um, hopefully I can get some people in the chair where I can get some more videos and I kind of want to get some more like I'm doing a vlog as well So like I'm vlogging just my journey because I was a busy barber back home, you know cutting 100 plus people a week uh, 20 30 heads a day and I just you know being a busy barber is nice, but man it comes with a lot of headaches, too and um, It's just crazy. It's different and I want to kind of share my journey like how I just left everything and I'm starting over I just want to recreate my clientele here just on a different scale. Man, you just kind of appreciate a low fade, man. A low fade looks so good when it's done right. Not saying mine's just done right, but it's kind of done right. That little details going in there with the with the shear and the comb sets it apart too i mean look at that neck look at that neck then the, the blend on the neck man it's crazy kind of clean up some of them hairs my guy likes me to line up the front even though you ain't gonna see it but i'm always messing with him about it We just clean it up lightly. We don't, we don't gotta dig in. I'm not gonna add no color enhancement, no nothing, just because you're not gonna see it. His hair is always down, no matter what, so. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, I'm trying to get better at this talking on the mic and kind of sharing here i'm gonna go ahead and style his hair up a little bit put some put some leave-in conditioner in it give it some shine but i mean look at that look at that look at that fade though super blurry we're gonna clean it up be sure to follow me on instagram uh you can see this cut with my good camera and everything but yeah here here is the before Here's the after. So much better, so much cleaner. Got to show you the blend. Come on now. It's crazy. I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully bringing some more content real, real soon. My vlog is going to be dropping here soon. I mean, I hope I'm interesting. Hope I'm interesting enough for you guys to, to continue to watch me and follow me. And please subscribe to the channel. It'll help tremendously. And leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, on to the next one.